In Resident Evil Apocalypse, Alice awakens in Raccoon City, only to find it has become infested with zombies and monsters. With the help of Jill Valentine, Carlos Oliveria, Alice must find a way out of the city before it is destroyed by nuclear missile. So I knew that the new one had recently been released, Resident Evil Retribution, and I already seen the first movie, not that long ago for the first time. So I decided to get them all off of um, Amazon Instant Video, only um, I uh, so I had the first one, and I had um, taped a while ago Afterlife. So um, I got Resident Crap. I got Resident Evil. Um, Apocalypse and Resident Evil Extinction off um off uh Amazon Instant Video. So right now I own them all except for Afterlife. So let's talk about Apocalypse. Resident Evil Apocalypse was a very interesting movie. It started off not very good, but it ended very well. I mean it started off very different to where you can tell that the city, Raccoon City, um, was infected with the virus. And it was really weird because, um, in one of the first scenes where we see a zombie where a woman is being chased by a zombie, it shows the zombies is going all shaky and weird things. It was weird. It did have some cheesy lines, but. Um, I think when Alice showed up with the survivors, it got pretty good. Um, I mean, it wasn't as good as the first movie, but it was still entertaining, and I would watch it again. So, I don't really have no much to say about Apocalypse. All I really have to say about it is that, you know, it's entertaining. It's just an entertaining, fun, you know, zombie movie with... Mila Jovovich, um, being, you know, badass, which is, you know, cool. So, I think I definitely enjoyed Resident Evil Apocalypse.